wanted you to enjoy the view that we can see through the smoke. It's really quite clear today. Oh. I need this view. I need this. I need this. bush time. I'm going to go camping. I, I, I'm having sensory overload today really badly. Hmm. Some overwhelming every little thing every noise even the wind was bothering me earlier it came out and I'm just been staring at those mountains <laughs> I had a little pop and now I'm just kind of trying to find my my center my zen my dump truck comes in and starts dumping dirt Maybe I will go camping, um, probably Wednesday afternoon, I'm going to go up, um, mom has a, an appointment in the afternoon, and I need to apologize to her because I know my grumbling made her feel bad, and I was grumbling earlier, I was just like, grumbling about the noise, you know, the, the, leaf blowers at the school for the three days for the weekend and then I thought oh good the weekend will be quiet but then the cat and the tractor and, and, the, and the gator and all the things that pulled out to do things to get things ready and you know and I said okay okay right so okay you should be Pressure washer blowing somewhere over there. Dump trucks dumping somewhere over here. And um, there's no buffer from the trees anymore. So all the sounds are coming at me. And um, oh, I don't have my hearing aids in. I have not worn them for two days because I'm over sensory. So I think I'm going to take my sensory overloaded person here and go to the bush. <laughs> I know, I can't have a fire right now, but, you know, I'm going to look at the positive end of it. I don't have to split and pack a bunch of firewood in this heat. It's too hot to split wood. Yes, see? Positiveness. Looking forward to the quietness of the woods. in the last couple days, um, you know, in the morning I get up, when I have my morning coffee, I open the door and I can sit outside for a little minute, and then after my morning coffee, after my couple of cups of coffee, when I'm ready to sort of, yes, I'm not a morning person, it takes me a while. <laughs> it used to be two hours when I worked, two hours before I had to leave, I would get up so that I had my morning because I'm really not a morning person. I mean, I am because I want to get things done in the morning, but I do not like to be awake in the morning. Wind might blow you over. Let me just figure you down for a second here. Uh, yeah, and then I just I close the door and I pull my blinds and I keep that, you know, 68 degree coolness in there and the last couple of days like last time I looked it only gone up to 80 in there and I think we hit 30 out here today so good you know I'll just keep making sure it's a good pose right 
It's the coolness from the evening during the walk that in the morning. She'll be okay, but <clears throat> worst case, um, there are cool spots outside. I have shade spots all over the yard. Um, and they're very cool. And my father will check in on her and if need be, and close up the house and fire up the AC. I don't care. You do what you gotta do. But I think it's going to be okay because my last couple days of testing and, and checking and everything with it, <clears throat> you know, I mean, I open everything up again around 4.35 because the sun's no longer on the deck and it's had time to, like, it's already off, almost off the deck now. What time is it? 2.30. Yeah, another hour and it'll be cool enough. Like the sun will have not been there long enough that I can open the door and the breeze will come in. But it won't be hot off the hot wood. So. Work with it. Don't work against the guy. Part if it's not not that bad. Like I said last time I looked, it was 80. And the breeze always picks up in the afternoon like this. So yeah. It's good. I picked all the nuts out of the trees. There's none left. But I hung a basket, right? And I've been picking them up off the ground. I leave a little pile on the ground too for the grounders. sits right on the fence there. I don't want to move because it's eating. But it sits on top of the fence above the basket and just has food. <laughs> and they're, they're doing a pretty good job on it. Um, they don't waste them, that's for sure. I mean, they abuse my garden and me and everything in the process of their harvesting and they make a huge mess. But, <clears throat> pardon me, for the most part, They end up eating it all or winter storing or whatever it is they do. Sure is a messy process, oh my goodness. But unbelievable everywhere. I kind of put my garden gloves on and sweep everything off in the morning. I'm wondering if I can lift you up slowly and let you see what's going on over there without disturbing the little critter. Oh, is it way off my mark? Did you get to see? I guess I'll find out when I preview this. <laughs> oh, yes, it's a hot day because it's getting sun. It's a sunscreen day because it's getting sun, like hot sun. And I felt like going green today. Yes, green. See, my shirt is green. There's some green in my skirt. And my shoes are green. Oh, maybe you didn't see the squirrel because I have no idea where my mind's eye thinks it was. There was nowhere near. Like I said, I don't want to disturb too much it's afternoon snack time or something. There's something going on over there. So, be mindful of the heat wave. It's coming. Thanks for sharing my mountain view. Remember, you know, leave your animals at home. It's too hot for them in the car unless you have AC. But if you don't have AC in your house, put them in a shady spot. Make them quite comfortable right now. And it's hot out. Like last time I looked, it was like 29, 30 degrees. So hot, hot, hot. Um, I 
cut out. Just drink your water. Stay hydrated. I'm going to have to go to the hills and just hide in the trees. Yeah, everything's been too loud. Too loud. Like that squirrel's, the, the bits that it's dropping and the chewing is, is. <sighs> Look at the mountains, aren't they pretty? Yes. And just, you know, embrace that. I have to, I need to. Yes. It's good. Life is good. Everything is good. So. Take a moment when you need a moment. You know, I was uh, picking up some groceries earlier for my folks and myself. And um, I was going to leave, and this couple was sort of standing there, and this other lady, you know, because the gentleman was here, and there was no through way. And I'm waiting, and, and the elderly fellow, the sister's like, oh, oh. And I'm like, no, no, it's okay. And I'm going to say, toodle wop. I got around the other guy, and caught up with them and everything and his pace right their steps to my steps and then I got beside him and I said and he said oh sorry and I'm like no you know it's actually pretty good for people to just take a moment from time to time you know just take a moment from time to time mm -hmm. I need a few moments yeah Oh, well, I dealt with some things. I just unfollowed and blocked and unsubscribed and cleaned up some other things. And, uh, yeah, it was good. Got deleted an account even. Walked away. There's a lot of abuse there. Maybe that's what, maybe I need to expel all that, that, that leaked in through my through my eyeballs, um, you know, windows to your soul and all that, because this is calming me looking at the mountains, so I need to go to the bush, I'm going to the bush, and um, I'm going to go camping, I'll come home Sunday, I'm going to leave Wednesday afternoon after the homes, overnight, I will probably load up Tuesday, oh, I would have enough time Wednesday morning, get everything together though. through and list a bunch of stuff that I'm going to need because I don't have a fire. It's okay. I do have a camp stove. A little butane one. One burner thing that works great. So we'll go from there. Okay. Well, thank you again for sitting with me while I find my inner inner calm. Remember to look after yourself in this heat. Look after your fur babies. Um, be cautious if you're smoking outside. And, uh, you know, be super cautious in the heat, please. There's some statistics out there for the first 30 days of summer. 19 people in BC alone have died from heat stroke. Okay? 19. Um, I'm pretty sure summer, summer starts somewhere in the 20s of June, and we're in somewhere in the 20s of July. So, you know, that's not a long period for 19 people to be reckless in this heat and not, you know, when you're at the beach, jumping into the water and cooling off that way and expelling energy while you're swimming and then jumping back onto the shore and drying off in the sun, um, you are not re reprieving your body from the sun, do you know? You need to get into the shade for a bit. Um, please don't stroke, heat stroke out, you know. Stay cool, stay safe. You know, this is a great spot right here to put coolness when you get overheated. Right there in your feet, your wrists, we've been over this. Please just take care. Take care of your fur babies. 
you know, if you don't have AC, let them be outside in the shade so they can dig in the earth and find the coolness. Keep lots of water out. You drink lots of water. Wear your sunscreen, wear your hats. Your loose, flowy, breathable, comfortable clothing. And do, do the best you can for you in this. Try not to start any more fires. We have enough going. So don't light that match. You don't need to, you know, carry your little bottle of water with a little bit of water in it, you know, to extinguish your cigarettes. If you do butt out on the ground, maybe start a new habit by picking it up so that you can throw it in the trash or a fire pit or somewhere safe later. And uh, now you're not littering on top of not burning the world down. Well, the province, anyway. So, it's already on fire. The one that I live in. Um, okay, guys. Love you all. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. Should I see my mountains again?